Hey everyone, Mason Elude here, back with some more uh, Smash today. Roy and King K. Rool recently won majors. So, Roy... Shriek has been playing Roy for less than a week. And at Get On My Level 2019, he pulled a reverse 3-0 in Winners Finals, and then in Grand Finals, he beat Mars 3-1 three, three to one with uh, Roy against, I believe, Zero Suit Samus. I don't follow competitive that much. But I heard about them both winning majors recently, and I wanted to sort of get the scoop and make a nice little video today uh, for you guys showcasing these two characters. Yeah, I really enjoy both of them. And King K. Rule, there was an Australian major, their biggest one yet, called BAM11. And apparently a solo King K. Rule player won that tournament without dropping a set. And the finals was King K. Rule against Mr. Game & Watch. Just... <laughs> Nobody would expect that at, like, any Grand Finals. Anyways, I chose uh, a few replays. This is a bit of a shorter video. Ooh, I like that parry. Just because I usually do longer videos, and I wanted to grab the better replays from my time playing both of them. Just make a sort of a better quality video. Yeah, I'm watching myself. <laughs> he actually died to the Smash there in the Town and City platform. I don't think that's ever happened to me. I'm always, like, so afraid of that thing. I've seen horror stories. I've seen, like, there was a set. I think it was Ryuga playing Corrin in uh, Smash 4. He got a kill. Uh, like, the final kill of the set, but it was a star KO. And he taunted on the, uh, ooh. He taunted on the Town and City or Smash Hill platform. Unfortunate. Yeah, that does kill. I died up and in, but that was Roy double edge dance to the ledge. It's the best side B out of Marth, Roy, uh, Krom, and Lucina. Just because it's the most consistent and kills the earliest. And if you do side, side, upside, you almost always get the killing combination. Yeah, I'm like choking hard here. I am the blue Roy. As you would guess by my uh, channel name. Oh my god. Yeah, the skin is based on Elliewood from uh, the seventh Fire Emblem, uh, Blazing Sword. I mean, Roy F Smash is strong, but it's not strong enough to kill me when it did. He had no rage, and I think I DI'd it correctly. Yeah, that was... that's the combination. I had all the time in the world to set it up, so that was pretty easy. But yeah, I really enjoy Roy and King K. Rule. Roy I made for the first uh, five or six months of the game, an exception being when I switched to Cloud for about a three-week period. Uh, I have a background with this character in Smash 4 2. I played him for about... What was it? The last three years of the game, I solo made him. And yeah, in this game, like, I ended up, once Joker was announced, I was completely indifferent. And then I ended up going and playing the Persona games. And I really enjoyed uh, the three that I played through. I do want to play through Persona 1 and 2 at some point. I'm thinking of streaming Persona 2 at some point. There's just other games I want to get to, like Xenoblade Chronicles, maybe. Oh, there's my setup. Yeah, I sort of coined that week one, where you uh, set up a tech situation, you reset what the first two hits the side B, and then you read where they go, and just hit them with the forward smash. I miss Smash 4 Roy forward throw. It had guaranteed uh, setups into Nair, and then later had tech setups, but it does have the ladder in this game. Ooh, really slick edge guard there. Yeah, it still can set up tech situations, it's just not a combo throw anymore. But it was my favorite throw. And like, as you can see, me going for it in suboptimal situations, I really do miss it. This is me playing Roy after about a month or so of not playing him. Yeah, I've just been completely focused on Joker, but I still love this character. Oh, that was so slick. I just destroyed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this set was actually, uh, he was just pressing buttons on my K rule and just destroying my K rule in battle arenas. So I was down, uh, 0 and 2, because I run best of fives in those. So I just switched to Roy and I got the reverse 3 2 sweep. Just because it's a lot easier than, uh, playing K rule against Roy when I'm not the most experienced K rule. And even if you are, that matchup is kind of difficult, just because, uh, Roy is the god of buttons. I use this. He presses the scariest, uh, sword buttons, and it's usually pretty safe. Ooh! If I went upwards with that, I might have been able to do a 6 setup, but I still like what I did. 
Yeah, I handpicked uh, some of my better matches because I'm not the best King K rule, but I'm trying to show off what I can. This character's really fun. I've been, uh, he's been a friendly character. Like, someone I've played in friendly since launch, but as time went on, I played him less and less. He feels like harder to play against as time passes. Like, more people know how to deal with him, but I feel like now K rule players are getting smarter and adapting to that. And I know uh, one named Onua. Oh, uh, she's a King K. Rool main in, what is it? God, I can't remember her region's name for the life of me. Oh yeah, Crown Up Smash is a confirm, by the way. If you uh, time it right. Ooh, and I love King K. Rool's back here so much, but uh, I can't remember the region she's from off the top of my head. But yeah, she's really holding it down in her region with uh, King K and getting results. And as one of my friends, so that's why I'm playing the uh, blue K rule skin. I really like the pink most, but I still think blue is amazing looking. Yeah, King K rule just has a lot of good skins. Even his default is great. Definitely one of the most aesthetically pleasing characters in this game. And as you can see there, Cannonball, if you short hop Cannonball against taller characters, it covers a lot of their options. Like, they can't really do much on the ground, and... They can't short hop or anything like that. They have to either retreat or full hop, and then it lets you sort of chase them down. And there I destroy the Cypher with the uh, back air. I thought that was amazing. There's been times where I'll do things like uh, get a fully charged away Flare Blade on the Cypher. Oh, that was almost true. If I was a little closer to him, it might have been. I'm just going in on the Snake. I should have just ran forward and... Uh, Backyard. Yeah, as Snake, you want to recover high more often than you recover low, just because for both of them, your options are very limited. And if you don't want to, if you want to use the Cannonball off stage and not SD, I would say use it, mash jump, so that you use your second jump and then just uh, use your up B as soon as you see it. Oh my God, Snake forward air taking it. <laughs> that was a really unsafe recovery. But sometimes it feels uh, really difficult to recover his K rule. While his recovery is great, and it's hard to edge guard for most characters, it's still like very awkward on the angle sometimes, yeah. But after I got the hang of King K rule, after I like figured out how to fight people who. He died to back throw. That was an <laughs> atrocious DI, yeah. A lot of people figured out how to beat King K rule. You just like sort of get in. Like he has armor projectiles he's really heavy his moves are really scary and sometimes really punishing but the, the trick against him is you just get in and press buttons on him and that's sort of how you beat king k god i <laughs> rob is a little scary too for this character but I, I don't think it's a terrible matchup just annoying i fought a few robs yesterday in battle arenas when i was getting the replays for this I love King K. He's so much fun. Sometimes it's difficult to get things started as him, but when you do, oh man, it's satisfying. I don't know why I went for that. That was like one of the slowest kill options I could have done. I should have done forward smash. Yeah, he just didn't mash fast enough. If you if you get grabbed by King K rule at 100 or beyond, just as soon as you're in the grab animation, just mash as hard as you can, and you will basically always get out. So then his uh, throw only becomes reliable at 130 or above, depending on where you are on stage. And I really like the cannonball too. Like, crown is great. What happened there? <laughs> That's so silly. I think he tried to save me. Respect on his part for that. Yeah, as you can see there, it has a ton of active frames, and parrying is really good as King K just because it's hard to get a hit in, but once you, like, besides your uh, crown and cannonball, but once you do, there's just a lot of reward. His moves have a lot of knockback, and I definitely think he is a strong character. He just requires a certain skill set and mindset to play effectively, like if you want to take him beyond uh, lower levels of play. Oh, down air and uh, up smash. Yeah, King K rules uh, down air has a ton of hit stun, so... If you somehow land it, you can uh, confirm it into a lot of things. And I also like being really annoying at the ledge with just side B from ledge. I think I mash here, yeah. The same case with Rob's down throw. As soon as you get hit by it, you want to mash. 
It's just something Smash Ultimate started doing where uh, there's a lot of moves. Well, not a lot, but there's uh, the occasional very scary move like Inkling Roller, DK Side B, stuff like that where you want to mash as soon as possible. And I was trying to counter the up smash and get a lot of damage in because King K's counter is one of the strongest in the game. It's ridiculous. And it's also a re uh, reflector, but it only works from the front. I was trying to do a six setup there, but I kind of failed. I like the Tomahawks I've been doing as King K. Ooh! And that's gonna take it. I thought that was pretty sick. The uh, crown and then double cannonball. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think. And I guess I'll just keep doing what I'm doing.